this is a little humorous look at media uh, in the Philippines but also I don't know if it's true or not to be honest you will find when you have a bad news story in the Philippines it will generally swap from English into Tagalog or Sabrano etc it will sort of like go oh um, John the minister uh, arrived at such and such today and then blah 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 all the facts seem to go into the local dialect now from Google or whatever media point of view it is you won't actually translate outside the Philippines this is why I think a lot of stuff expats and the general broader world doesn't see it you know it, it's just not translated because um, I mean if you do a Google Translate it does Filipino Filipino being Tagalog um, but what about all the other dialects not that it's Google's responsibility to translate into so many uh, languages but what I'm saying is though when people do these things in English and then swap back and then it will close in back into English etc and throw the odd English word in there it's um, distorts everything because I've seen it with some expats before I was watching a news article where this expat had died on the toilet um, which this will broaden your horizons a little bit the police often arrive with a camera crew um, especially if they've got a tip off they can make a story out of it so what you've got is a guy overweight fat guy died on the toilet passed out on the floor etc still lay there around the side of the toilet bottle and they're just sort of dragging him out it's all filmed put on the the uh, video uh, you know it's all videoed live on TV giving the oh the a foreigner died blah 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 and then it will go back into the local dialect so there's no understanding for somebody that's an English speaker that they're that he had a heart attack or something it's just that you got the first bit going a foreigner died on the toilet and then the rest of it goes back into the local dialect um, not that I'm saying that the locals should speak um, English but I would say I just find it very strange that it seems to go like minimum facts like location etc then it will drop into the local dialect and you'll see on Facebook people do it as well because I'm in uh, some of these Minglanilia groups and they'll open up with something and then it'll just like <laughs> it goes back into the local dialect um, now I know from the old Pinai Pride stuff people don't like things being public um, I've seen it where for example I took some pictures of sewers open sewers and I had a few people contact me saying yeah we know it doesn't work but we don't really want to see it you know it, now everybody knows they don't work it's like but that's the point it's been like that for the last 10 15 20 years and doing that now people are getting a slap in the face saying you're the local government fix it that's why you do these things you know because if you just accept it and go well we don't really want to talk about it we all know it's broke etc you will not get any progress it will never happen but I do know that some people will say don't don't show it because proud of this town proud of this island etc but this is fact it, it doesn't matter whether you like it or not it's a fact um, this is where people get confused you know this isn't about pride that becomes false pride because you're actually uh, not promoting the, you know, the the problem. You're like, found the problem, I'm going to fix it. That that is positive pride. Turn around, and ignoring it. No, it's not. That's 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 a negative thing, because that's why so many things don't change, because people go, don't talk about it and that's exactly what happens people don't talk about it so things don't get fixed um thanks for watching